hello good morning youtubers and today i just want to show you how to create some depth of field um layman term i think blurriness at the background i've seen a lot of images on uh on the media where people are actually posting them then they have an image they made a render and in the background there's actual object that's in focus so i have a scene here this is the camera view um, and you can see two cars everything is set up so i hit the render button f12 and i get an image that's like this and for you actually to get these nodes just go under composition so on top if you're using uh blender 2.8 on top here you see where it's composition where it's written composition just go there and if you don't see the nodes just make sure you enable use nodes here and you actually have nodes come up so they won't look like this but they work the same way so first up get a defocus and just plug it in so the image goes into the defocus and yeah well actually this is actually supposed to go on the other one. Oh my goodness it's supposed to go to the viewer so that i can see uh what i'm actually doing but so notice i'll plug it in but because this one's going to the viewer but for you this doesn't actually matter because you only have one node to the other so meaning just plug it in yeah so this goes to the image and it looks like that and we have depth here uh let me i don't know if i can actually demonstrate this look at this there's depth here so uh it's calculating the distance like how many uh i don't know if this this doesn't even show anything so for me to see actually let me just get a a normalize so just get a normalize and let me just put it in between here so look it as normalizes everything so it actually calculates the distance between one object to the next like the closest you can see it's actually dark here and we have the feathers which is completely white at the far end well what we are, what we actually want here is let's take it back where it gets it from here so this normalize and getting it from the depth here let's plug this into the z-axis and nothing has happened yet but if we actually zoom in and start increasing this value here let's put it at 20. look at what happens we are getting that depth of field in the background so that is a bit too much so you can take it down you can actually scroll with your value here so depending on the type of object that you have you can actually change the values i think 10 look good for this image that looks okay so let me just zoom out and let me put uh these aside let's put it at 15 so you see it blares a little bit of that so this is what we're actually looking for i think 15 is okay I hope you go out with your image. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. And catch me tomorrow for another video.